All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube and everyone live here with us on Twitch, I have a big smile on my face because it is that time of the year again. Welcome to Undercover Pro 2.0, one of our most successful formats here in MK1. And I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen tonight because we have a phenomenal challenger team. We have a phenomenal undercover boss and we have a phenomenal commentator here next to me. Abel, what's up, brother? It's been way too long. Uh, it's been way too long, Rips. Nice <laughs> to finally be back here and commentate yes, sir. some good undercover boss. Great show, by <sighs> the way. Even greater <laughs> event today. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a popping event, Rips. Abel, it's gonna be wild. And I think we have to give everyone a little recap. Maybe some people are seeing this for the first time on YouTube. Maybe here live on Twitch. So let's break it down for them. What? undercover pro actually is the event is super fun first of all because it works like that we invite a professional player a literal pro player guys with hella achievements literally world class and this dude is gonna join our lobby on a heidi account and you guys out there here on twitch and of course on youtube you can guess who our undercover pro actually is, because he is gonna face an entire challenger team, Abel, who are gonna try to take him down, and we have some spicy names in this. So sad, one of the craziest Gears players we know, we have Pyrex, who is most likely gonna enable that microphone and chant on the mic for his entire team. Mercuridge, unfortunately, can't make it, but we have a replacement, Raven Lena, for all the Edenian warlords out there. We're gonna compete today. We have Xutix, we have Various, and we have Shadow Mario. And these six players, they're gonna try and work together in a Forever King lobby to reduce our arena boss life amount to zero before their lives get taken, Avil. And that's the beauty of this event. Both teams are gonna start with nine lives in total and our challengers, they have to give it their best shot to try and conquer the arena today versus one of the best players in the entire world. Our event is officially starting. Good luck to all the players today. And let me tell you this, you guys are gonna need it. The Undercover Pro is here with one of the best PSNs I've ever seen. It is the arena boss, baby. And that is what's gonna happen today. Peacemaker, Chameleon versus Raven Lena. And we're going right to the main aval. This is gonna be Sweat City all night long. Like a mature adult. What the hell is this Katana skin? I'm having nightmares already. Anyways. We have Peacemaker on screen, Rips. You know what that means. We shut up. We let him talk. We let him do his thing. Well, let's see. I love the Chameleon pick, by the way. And there is Eagerly already. But Raven Lena. That is, this is Raven Lena, right? It is Raven Lena. Yes, Abel. That's right. And once again, thanks to the community support, the arena boss starts with 10 lives in total, while the challengers only have nine. And right now, very strong start for our boss here. Yeah, and I know from Twitter that... Uh, the good boy, uh, John Cena, Peacemaker. Is he's pretty good zoner in this game, so the Sub-Zero cameo pick is pretty smart here. But look at this combo right now from the Arena boss. Hard knockdown into the chip out. <laughs> and Faisal in the chat is saying, yep, that's me, chat. Or is it Havel? Havel, are you playing right now? Oh, don't put the camera on. <laughs> we got Havel in 8K. There is the dive from the skies. Oh, Abel, that is looking mm, juicy. Undercover boss starting without mercy. I mean, I heard a lot of people say that uh, Peacemaker Chameleon is a really, really love uh, combination. It is a very strong combination on top of that. Definitely top tier in my opinion, but right now, look at this combo. Raven Lena with that Vortex over there in the corner. Mm. I saw a lot of people actually rocking this. Variation combination is really interesting. Torpedo. Oh, there's a torpedo. Force field. Torpedo. Torpedo. Wait a minute. Fatal. What is that combo? Look like it's gonna whip, but no, we go for the setup. But the wake up dash here mm. from the arena boss is taking that first match set. And that means the challenger is already down to eight. Peacemaker. 
And I see a lot of people in the chat thinking it's the mighty unjust. Yeah, I like I the I like the call on actually. Mighty unjust. I mean Oh soup or fish with the five gifted. Let's see what he's gonna do. Ban Peacemaker. Oh and Peacemaker you can is see already him. Banned. We can see him. And that means our undercover pro has to switch the character even on a win now. Yo, arena boss, you gotta switch. Wait, X. Peacemaker is banned. That means we need the character switch from our boss right now. Let's see if he can play more than Peacemaker. Genji? Wait, what? What in the feps is this? Sub-Zero. Xutex going right to the main here. Shang Tsung, very strong Shang. Xutex was one of the players, by the way, who were able to take a life from our first undercover pro, which was Kanimani. But Kenji is a character I didn't expect either. Who is that, chat? Oh, wait, is he, is he playing Kenji sub? This smells strongly after Mighty Unjust Rips, I gotta say. <laughs> say how it is. There is only one madman out there who kind of plays this combination, and that man is named Mighty Unjust, but who knows? Maybe the arena champion, uh, arena boss oh, the, is did you see that playing over Power Might. That was really good. The chat is saying Go the boss is fast. <laughs> oh, that's a good pickup. Drops it, though. The mix mix. But the ghost is gone now. Sutix, it's now his chance. Don't let the arena boss get out of the Kenshi state. Out of the center state. Even the arena boss, he's looking unstoppable. Who can stop this man right now? Xutix in trouble already on life support. Oh, what a jump. Good grab. Yeah, Kenshi's jump in is not the fastest. Clipped him right Thanks. out of it. Goes for the trade here with the ground sparks. But Xutix, one touch away from death. Good with punish. I like that. Yeah, Kenshi in Santo Sense is really, really weak, but now the poke special would have been chip. It doesn't matter if he would have even blocked it. Nicely done from the arena boss. <laughs> and Raven Lina is saying, wait, we are down to eight lives already? Yes, Raven Lina. <laughs> nice, go straight into the Sandwich Maker. Disgusting. What oh, a pickup as well. There's a resummon. Resummon. Xutix, he doesn't even know what's happening. This is a disgustingly good Kenji right here. Uh, back throw into the corner. <laughs> There's a wake up! Impaler! And that's it. Abel, the, our challengers, um, Chad, how do we say it in a nice way? They need help, Abel. Kenshi wins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Big Baba Frankie is saying, Challengers, I got your back. Five subs from Big Baba. What are we doing with them? You know, it's... And he's banning Kenshi. <laughs> we are honestly testing how many characters our under pro, uh, undercover pro can play. Immediately banned Kenshi. That means we need another oh. switch. But Rips, you already know, if you can play Kenshi, you can almost play the whole roster because th that character takes a lot of knowledge and execution. Yes, but now it's getting interesting because Nuji, who is one of the strongest Melina mains Gamer, out there, the is entering the stage. The undercover pro switching to Tanya all of a sudden, a character we see way more often lately on pro level as well. Yeah, well, it's, that arena boss just played every character that any pro has back in his pocket. I love it. The chat is saying First. Mighty Unjust plays all three of those characters. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's be honest, Mighty Unjust plays the whole roster. Yes, he does. A lot of people actually do this in this game. Right now. I think a pretty good pick, Tanya, right here. Good armor versus the, Kita uh, versus the Melina. I, mean, I think we can both agree that the undercover pro is an actual sweat. I like I like that BSN so much. The arena boss, baby. <laughs> Imagine you run into him in combat league, Abel, and get absolutely destroyed. But now Nuji. the next arena boss 
need to have a different name, like the Arena Falls Bitches or something, and then they all can square up. <laughs> Or sliding in those DMs like there's no tomorrow saying what's up baby girl. There's the meaty Nuji not able to block it in time. My Another spirit, round in the boss favor. Round two. Fight. Oh, interesting. Hey, wait, what is this conversion? That's crazy. Almost gets the punish as well. Back throw. Twice in the back. Nuji got clipped out of the ball roll attempt. Pressing. Yeah, good done one. So Stealing good. turns. There's Goro making it safe. What? No! What is that? He challenged. He knew that that chameleon lift was coming over. Wow. Okay. This player is on a different level. Bro, this... <laughs> Abel, he might be too good. He's cooking our players. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for our players. What a block. Oh, he blocked this as well. Nice one to punish straight into the kill there. Hey, but this event... Oh, don't brutality him. Oh, Chad, this, this is too quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is going too fast. Daniel wins. Gotta have a short day today. My man the is doing challengers, quick works. They are already down to six lives while it seems like the undercover pro he hasn't even unleashed his full potential yet <laughs> the chat is already saying give the challengers 10 more lives the thing is that there is a cap on it we cannot add more than five lives in total the boss got one so we can add up to five lives to the challenger team we have a lot of characters banned as well but right now the arena boss allowed to stay on tanya and now it is Soset's turn. Wait a minute, Abel. That means it's getting sweaty in here. Does he stay with the Tanya, though, is the question. Or do we see a switch? Tanya, Tanya the really, is... really good pick versus Garrus. And a good point. Someone in the chat is mentioning, you guys aren't banning cameos. Maybe the cameos a ban can weaken the boss somehow. Challengers, down to six lives. Let's see if Soset can bring it back. It's so hard to ban a cameo right there, Rips, because first he plays Chameleon, then Sub-Zero, now at the Goro. This is hard. I, I don't nice. want to say it like that, but we have 800,000 channel points on our undercover pro. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now so sad, don't this man is here to get. Ooh, dropped his combo right there, but it doesn't matter. 40% is still 40%. Plus a million, you got a block for your life. Command grab. Soulset is looking good. The first one who is literally making the boss sweat right now. That wasn't a punish. Soulset just straight up didn't block me. Right he paid it with his life also. Good tech. Soulset nice is tech. saying get off me. Sliding in gets oh, blocked. This is the disgusting. <laughs> the armor was so good. No fear. Down one. There's a back throw. Escape failed. One Soulset. touch scenario. <laughs> Evil, how is he doing it? Just grab punished it down one. Round Soup or fish in the chat Barnes. is trying to save the day with another five sub bomb here. And he is saying I'm banning Tanya. That means for the next set, the arena boss has to switch Evil. Yeah, it's shimmied right a godlike string right there. That's the string. There's the armor. Nice jump from Sosa. Instant punish. Knew what he was doing. Do we see a juicy combo? Or are we gonna see one? Sets up the clocks again. Mm, 33%. Gets the shimmy. Oh, the down one after getting hit. We mashing. Oh, Goro catching him off guard. Eh? But there's another shim Jim right after. Nice breaker immediately from the arena boss. There's the disco spinner. <laughs> Avil and I, we are making up moves again because we have no idea what we're talking about. Good side switch. Avil is so close. So sad. Finds the magic opener. But he drops it straight no. into the fatal. The breaker is coming in. Yeehaw from Motaro. And Avil, he got checked in neutral. Crucial mistake from So sad. He had the winning touch. 
This one breaks my heart. And Solsid is saying, thanks for the frame drops, NRS. Oh, we know. The servers are in a terrible, terrible, terrible situation right now. Thank you guys so much for playing through it. We know how annoying it is, especially in an event like that. A big shout out can to you, all uh, our players. Can you actually uh, uh, talk to me about this? Because I've been not been active in the scene. Yeah, I can make it short, David. The servers are ass. Croy. That's it. Oh, so that's it. So the servers are just not working. <laughs> but chat. Tanya banned officially. That means we need another character again from our undercover pro. What this is it going to be? be? Interesting. What? Oh, don't tell is me it he's going to pick Baraka now. <laughs> like I, I would have no idea what that would oh, be. Oh, Avil, no. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's listening to the stream and he said, "You know what, Avil? This one is for no. you. Baraka coming yeah, out, and Raven Lena gets a second chance now." You must be so the fact Baraka Chameleon. Another the character, mighty unjust place. I see you guys. We have an we have an entire FBI squad in the chat, Avil. I, I'll be honest, the only person I ever saw play Baraka Comedian was Disorder. Beautiful nice tech, hand me on man. So good. Oh, wait, what? what? You can what? I don't even know what we are witnessing right now. Shimmy, Frave, and Lena in trouble. This is gonna hurt a lot. Do we see the break? Raven Lena. The Jade is also ready. The purple, there is a little stagger. Best to get an opening Raven Lena, but doesn't find anything. There is a Montclair jacket. So everyone out there watching on YouTube, um, I give you a tip. If you find the arena boss baby in Combat League, you better forfeit the set immediately. Oh, yeah. just, just, just press start, league set, <laughs> say GG's. Yep, boot up Minecraft, call it a day. Build a house or something out of dirt. Hey, but look at these combos. This man is not dropping anything. Another check on Wake Up Raven Lena literally in the blender over there. Mm, but finally finds an opening, but no confirm. Match up on it. Armor. What the hell is this what combo is this? even? I didn't know you can do it. 18% from a armor. There's the opening. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That was so sexy. That is good from Raven Lina. Hit confirm. Arena boss. Doesn't yeah, get Breaker in break time. It. Good decision right there. And wow. Rips. Is this the first person who takes a round? I think so. I think till now the arena boss took everything too. Oh, but Raven Lina finally putting one on the board. I mean, of course, we're not allowed to sound biased here, but right now, it is a one-man show here. The Undercover Pro is going crazy in front of everyone. Oh, nice Barack armor right there. There's the Stinky Toe. Didn't work out, but still got the shimmy there. Oh, this is gonna hurt. What is this combo? <laughs> the fact is saying the chat only had to ban three characters to get around. <laughs> Oh, that, that dash up grab was a, another level of disrespect, Abel. Oh, yeah. Missed times his buttons right there. Maybe the MK server problems. I don't know. But Raven Lina trying her best right now. Last breaker mm. for Raven Lina. And now it's getting dangerous. Oh. Ooh, the Monkey jacket he didn't believe. No, the undercover pro is literally speed running this event right now. Challenger team down to four, and he didn't even lose a single life so far. He makes it look so easy, even though the challenger team is full of sweat. Wow. Wow. Nice replay. Thank you, Abel. The most professional event is back chat and showtime. Is this the Baraka bun? Yes, it is. <laughs> the next 
undercover pro character. This man is going Johnny. I cannot believe this. This man has another character in his sleeve every single time. He is saying, chat, you cannot nerf me. You yeah, but not only does he go Johnny Cage, he also goes oh, Janet yeah. Cage. <laughs> this is so disgusting. <laughs> this man, he doesn't even look impressed when the chat is banning his character. He's like, okay, let me go to the next one. I'm cooking every single one of these challengers. Oh, don't tell me he also has some nasty stuff with oh, the Janet I Cage, and he has. <laughs> this is so disgusting. Nice side switch as well. Raven uh, Lina is uh, saying, uh, Chad, uh, when uh, are we getting some lives, please? <laughs> yeah, they definitely need some life, Chad. Seven gifted, and you can give the challengers some life. Janet Cage whiffed right there, but let's see. Oh, the parry no, again. This is... Disgusting. And Meow Murai in the chat with uh, seven what? gifted. Watch Meow Murai give another, gift another life to the arena boss. Then I'm going to lose it. Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, nice. Finds the shimmy. Shadow still in this round. A lot of damage. 36%. One more grab. One more touch. The one more shimmy. Doesn't believe. Can it kill Rips? Straight into Fatal. Oh, there's a breaker. No. He should have gone for the... He jumped over he jumped it. over it. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening, chat? And a big, big thank you to Maumurai, a Miyamurai who gifted another life to our challenger team. That means we can add up to four more. Three more. Two already were gifted. Yeah, but only one uh, to the challenger, so up to four to them. Oh, so you can give five yes. to the boss and five to the challengers. In total. Oh, that is good. The little parry here. Mm. Drops the combo, doesn't matter though. Still a lot of damage on board. Nice forward throw, Janet coming in. Ah, 40% grab, that is crazy good. The stagger, Janet coming in again, giving the little twisty wisty. <laughs> the what, Abel? The twisty wristy. Even the arena boss, twisting he her might wrist. lose the first life here versus Shadow Mario. Dude is playing out of his mind. Wait, he just pressed after really it. Good. Mm, no bar there. And this is going to be a full bar of Star Meter. Final round. Fight. I have oh, the to Nice thought throw again. Should I know what to do? Since most of the time, you know, let me let me boost the challenger's moral here with, with a banger track in the back. Can we get some AOs in the chat? Can we get a little bit of noise in here? Oh, Liu Kang doesn't have a low star, so he didn't know what to do. But doesn't matter, still gets a big combo there, 27%. The arena boss struggling right now a bit. Ooh, what a throw combo, helping with the gen there. Shadow Mario, Mario, this dude and is, is gonna be it. No! He is gaming today. Oh, spacing. That was a phenomenal trip guard. And here is the fatal angle. Break is ready. Immediately, really well done. Oh, there's a high meter. Don't get shipped. He gets clipped by the low. The what? What is this? Wait. <laughs> Wait. I'm done. No, I'm ending the stream. I'm I'm ending. This is this this event is over. Abel, I'm officially retiring. This is too much for me. Finish it. Uh, what uh, was that, Abel? Johnny Cage win. Oh, shit. Big Baba Frankie out there in the crowd with another seven gifted subs. Is that another life for our challenger team so they can stay on five? That was one of the most disgusting things I've seen in a while, level. Oh, my man just parried the dragon kicks. <laughs> the bicycle kicks. But now it is time for the secret weapon chat. Pyrex is entering the stage. But the problem is, Pyrex's main character is banned, Avil. He is not allowed to play Baraka. Oh, oh Pyrex is, is mad. So 
Helix cannot oh. play his main because the chat banned it. Just go to the... Wait, the arena boss is playing Baraka now. What? Raiden? Raiden is not banned? We, we unbanned Raiden? <laughs> yes, Raiden is actually unbanned because Various unbanned that character. The matchup we see is Raiden versus Melina. And the boss is saying, oh, thank you very much, guys, for unlocking Raiden for me. Okay, let me, let me just pick another top tier. Let me pick a character that anybody can play. There's a Kano, there's a Raiden. I, I have legit no idea who this player is. Yet. <laughs> and the chat is saying, why the hell did you unlock Raiden again? Yeah, there he is. That was... Various, that might have been a mistake, brother. Oh, and there is a nice block in time. Melina's armor, not the quickest in the world. And this is gonna hurt. Mm, classic Raiden damage, 35%. Ooh, straight to the corner. I must protect Earthrealm always. Round two. Fight. The arena boss, he looks so comfortable with so many characters. Soup or fish in the chat. Interacting once again. Is that the Raiden ban? And he is saying goodbye, Raiden. Abel, we got rid of one of the best characters in the game. Wait, isn't Various up next? So his character got found right before he could play. I would be so mad. Abel, he I even gifted five for that. I love this event so much. I swear to God, it's one of the most demonic things you can do in MK1. And the undercover boss is saying, this is too easy for me. Finish her. This is too easy. The bro hasn't even lost a single life yet, and the challengers are down to four. He makes it look a little bit too easy in my opinion, but Raiden now banned again. Yeah. Bye bye, Thunder God. Xutex entering the stage again. Shang Tsung, his main character, has a very strong Sub-Zero as well. And I think that's the character he's choosing right now. What the hell is this outfit? Wait. Chat? What? Chat? Chameleon. What? The arena boss is going My general. Country. Shower all I of a sudden. No respect what the hell is happening? Okay, Who now, is this guy? Oh, I'm curious. Round one, fight. Yeah, Hody in the chat, a really smart person. Sosa is in the enemy team, but he's also the arena boss. This man can literally play every single character. Well, that's what it looks like right now. Oh, yeah. I I'm getting flashbacks to the Kanimani <laughs> boss fight. Which... <laughs> no, this is... This is a different level of toxic. Look at the way he just tears through, through the competition able. He juggles those combos how he juggles those challengers rips with an ease. <laughs> challengers down to four lives while the arena boss is chilling. See now Zombat also in the guesses. What else? Mighty and just Faisal. I mean, I could be anybody of them. Two takes. Okay, there's Sof. the opening he needs. Mm. This is gonna be a big combo right here. Oh, nice jump over. Gets him with the purple. Straight into the face of him. But there's the break. Breaker. Vitab is saying this boss might be on Kratos. Maybe. Maybe. I know the Sutix has the size 16 shoe right now, but can he close it out? What an armor. Oh, the, the this awareness. This such a Able cool scenario. It looked so dope, though. Challengers down to three. And now it's getting very, very close for them. <laughs> and
And the challenger, they are, they're saying, Chad, please buff us. We need help in here. But how? Even though this I want to is say... the whole roster. I hope you guys know, banning General Shao in Rips Arena is against the rules. What's next, Rips? Do we see the Ashra? Wait, I lost count, Abel. How many bonus lives can the challengers get? Tigris, are you keeping track of that? How many, how many are left for them, in theory? I think three or four. Uh, three or two. Okay, oh, the challengers three. up to three bonus lives are available to them. And we go back to the Johnny Cage. Let your film crew in the palace. Because deep down, three you know lives you be from the challenger side. But now the arena boss going with the Kung Lao cameo. I actually forgot what cameo did he play with Shao. As a matter right now, big block, Nuji going for the big wrist maneuver, but the arena boss, baby, is just a tank. So said in the chat saying this is 100% the mighty unjust. Let's see. We are going to reveal this, of course, at the end of today's showdown. But now Nuji trying to cook a little bit. Nuji backing up a little bit, has a big life lead. This could be the first guy taking a life. Big block, no punish. Get hit by the shimmy door. Mm, the opening, wait a second, rips. This is it? Abel, we both know that uh. there is no scaling at all whenever we see that fatal from Johnny. Oh yeah, rips. Say cheese to the camera. <laughs> Hey, but I give you the reminder once again. The boss Boy. hasn't lost a single life so far. Not even oh. Kanimani managed to do it that long without losing a life, by the way. Just want to point that out. You know what, Rips? Just just put some salt into injury. <laughs> just give the arena boss another, uh, another <laughs> life, you know? Make it 11. If you cannot make him lose lives, let's give him lives. And Bob, okay, I can I can talk about that here. Say, so I think it is not Sonic Fox. I, I can say that I think Sonic Fox doesn't even know uh, we, we exist. Either. I mean, who rips? If he doesn't know we exist, we don't know he exists. But no, Chat Nuji going crazy. Oh, the wake up Perry, That's disgusting. Perfect. No punish on that. The purple. That is good. That is a lot of damage. No breaker inside. This is gonna definitely kill. Oh yeah, this, this is a one and done. Get himself a bit of a snack. Yum, yum, yum. Some Johnny Cage probably tastes good. Final round. Fight. But now. Oh, that is bold. This. The purple. Chameleon kind of caring right now for Nuji. Evan Nuji is cooking. What an anti-air. Gets to confirm as well straight into the ball roll. This could be the first life, ladies and gentlemen. Is that the first straight life lost yet? Nuji! Oh, no. Not like this. Into the heart. Nuji, he is looking so confident. On block, oh! and that is it. The first... Loose for the arena boss. Nuji made it happen. And we go right into the brute, baby. The challengers, we are showing signs of life chat. Melina wins. This outfit is kind of disgusting. <laughs> and Nuji is trash talking in the chat saying, is this your champion? <laughs> Nuji saving the day. Yeah, my man did the gladiator, you know, Rips, the movie Gladiator? <laughs> this is... Where the guy's in the center and says the same thing. This is just beautiful. And once again, I personally want to say thank you guys so much for always interacting with these tournaments, for making these so worthwhile to watch and entertaining. You guys are the real MVPs here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And as always, I speak for the entire arena team. So sets turn now. What is the arena boss doing? Let's find out. My man is adding, my man is adding salt and injury. He's like, Nuji, 
Cool Three Melina you had there. You might have beat me, but let me show you how you really play Melina. Forest. Sit down, my little son. With Tanya secure. If you survive its challenges. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Let's see. Is that gonna break the momentum for the undercover pro? But don't sleep on so sad. My man knows every match of life. Punish right away. Oh my god. This, 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 does he not have any Optimus with any other character? Like, uh, rips. <laughs> Put any character in this arena boss's sense and hits you for 40. Oh Bro, this god. is... I just don't know what to say anymore. The way he is able to play all these characters. And of course, he doesn't know what kind of interaction is going to come from the chat, right? Where they say, you know what? That, that character is not allowed anymore, this one. And he doesn't seem to be affected by it at all. Oh, yeah. the, get Money is saying, up. this dude knows every Optimus. And that is so impressive. Oh, there's a drop from So Sad. Whoa, what an interruption with the standing one right there. Now the forward throw. A breaker. A breaker from Sosa. Brings in the Motaro. Easy hourglass setup. There's the opening and again a breaker from Sosa. Still in the corner though. Motaro slowly coming back. Plus a million. Yeah, wrong gets guess. Through the wall. Oh, great reaction time to the stagger. Rips hold me by my head. <laughs> yeah. with punish. I, mean, I can barely breathe here as well. This is so impressive from all sides. Great performance from the challengers. Great performance from the undercover pro. And that's what it's all about. Just enjoying some MK1 gameplay together. Mm. And the uh, arena undercover boss is saying, hold my beer. My Melina is as dirty as Nuji's. Chat. The challengers are down to two lives only. Is there going to be another ban, Avel? Is it time for the Melina ban, even though Nuji is not going to be happy about it? Oh yeah, and the other character Nuji plays is Baraka, right? <laughs> that character's already banned. Raven Lina is back. What? Wait, we see a completely <laughs> different character again from the undercover boss. Where is that no. Draco coming so from all of a sudden? The what the hell Where is, is happening? I expected any character about Draco? <laughs> what the hell is this? This dude is playing a different character all the time. I've never seen something like that before. Okay, Rips, we gotta reveal it. No, this it's not just one undercover boss. It's just five people uh, playing at once. <laughs> this is... No, this is crazy. At this point, the undercover boss is just flexing. Yeah. We, we, we legit found, like, how many characters are in this game? For, ev for every character, we found one arena boss, and they're just, like, passing around the controller. The chat oh, is saying is we have to punish. stop banning characters because it doesn't seem to affect the arena boss. We have to gift lives to the challengers. <laughs> yeah, the challengers are down to two lives, so yes. if Raven Lina loses this, we're getting close to the end. Oh, what a way to punish. Oh, Raven Lina dropping it, though. Wait. Impaler. Big whiff. Big whiff. This is it, Raven Lina choking it out. There's the headbutt. Don't resist. I'm shooting already. There's nothing you can do right there. Big mistake, and Raven Lina has to pay the price for it. Massive Noodle is dropping 10 subs. Here comes the life support for the challengers. No problem, Rips. I just give the 10 subs. <laughs> Impaler DDT side switches. There's a striker for the pressure. The arena boss is just showing off at this point. Oh, special. 
see some classic striker Reiko. We usually don't see that that often anymore because people like to tend to go to upper cameos. That is right, yeah. I think the Darius and the Tremors is really strong with Reiko. And I think the Canadian as well, but I might be wrong. Oh, the and Poe special, the striker. Another life to the challengers. They are back to three, Ava. That's a good start, but here comes the command grab. Stop calling me Roy Playboy name rips. You know we should not do it on stream. But there is a big whiff punish. Gets the finisher as well. <laughs> and Black Business Cat dropping seven as well. Is that another life to the challenger team? Oh, what a jump in. Ravelina. There is the juggle. Set up. The Ooh, misses it though. Yeah, the boss was aware of it. Oh, I like that throw here to get out of the fan interaction. Good matchup knowledge. Nice German suplex into the corner. <laughs> Down force are just running in. Bob on the edge. That's a big punish right there. Minus 15 or something. But Ravenlina just chucked that the arena boss did that button right there. Now we go to the zoning game. Gotta watch out though. Reiko's zoning is really strong. Won't play a jacket is on though. What a jump in! Hits both, but no confirm. Evil. Impaler. Evil. Backing up. Won't play so jacket close. is on. This is more than close, chat. Ravenlina Monclisi is on the double poke. There is the overhead, and this is so close to chip out. I like the jump from Ravenlina. The patience. Striker coming in. <laughs> no punish. The grab with Dozo. Raven, Lena takes it, and that was so close there at the end. But the arena boss down to eight. Oh my god, I need a breather, Rips. I, will, I, I swear to god, I love these events so much. Like, Undercover Pro is honestly one of my favorite formats we are doing here in the arena ever. There's just so much going on all the time. <laughs> There's so many different characters and so many sweats. None. Stop. Thank you guys so much for being here today. We have close to 500 people in the crowd. And now the challengers, they slowly get that momentum. Oh, need to come down a bit. It's getting, it's getting hot in here, Rips, you know? We're the going back to General Shao. Go loud, treasure chamber. I will not let you unleash civil war. You know who reminds me of the arena boss right now, Rips? You, you watch the, uh, you watch the movie on uh, Amazon Prime, the new one with Conor McGregor. Uh, no, I actually did. Oh, that's the arena boss right now, the, the Conor McGregor. Such a good movie, Rips. You need to watch it. Okay, let's see if Shadow Mario, who had a phenomenal performance in the last match, can do it again. Nice block on the X. Yeah, Shadow Mario actually uh, a really, really yes, surprise in this sweaty event. You mean Liu? Uh, yes, sorry. I mean Lau also works because he's playing Lau game. Oh, co commits to it. Saw that the arena boss is not blocking the low, so he's starting to commit to it. I like it. That's an anti area. Beautiful. Try to full screen combo. Good reaction time. Another round for the boss. Outworld is mine to protect. Round two. Fight. But one thing I have to say, Abel, is um, that it is very, very impressive because this is hella exhausting for the boss too, right? To keep the focus oh, yeah. for that. He is playing non-stop, chat. Please don't forget that. This dude doesn't get any breaks. He has to play back to back to back and has to stay 100% focused versus these insane challengers. And not only that, I mean, the arena boss kind of showing off right now by picking all those different characters. 
And uh, let's be honest, if you pick so many different characters with so many different cameos, your brain kind of goes mushy. Oh, that we punish straight out of hell with the back one and sneaking in the low and we just commit to it. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, Microdot, excuse me, but there is a full stick of butter. Now it's interesting. It's a zoning battle right now. The boss looking comfortable. Shadow Mario has to be careful. Oh, there wasn't even a punish. <laughs> Nefecto in the chat with seven <laughs> gifted. But what will Nefecto do with those seven gifted? General oh, man. We <laughs> and Nefecto is saying the challengers need all the help they can get. And Avil, we have to switch the camera because that means all bonus lives which were available on the challenger side are now completely out. That means no more lives are available to them. We reach the maximum while on the other side our undercover pro still has four bonus Lina. lives in theory. Chat, thank you guys so much for the support. Challengers now down to their last four lives. This is getting Luke out of hand really quickly. Wait, Luke Hang? Because that... What? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, like... Is that an AI playing? Avil, <laughs> we are literally just putting a super hard AI here versus our challengers and no one is realizing it. Yeah, well, you know why it's taking so long for the round to start? Rips is just like, what character do we pick now, you know? <laughs> start the bot, you know? Oh, meta knowledge. Did you see the way he armored through that? Very, very specific. Beautiful stuff. And don't forget Nuji. No, this is Pyrex. I, I thought it's Nuji because of Melina. But this is Pyrex with the Kung Lao pick, so we might see some dirty setup. But excuse me, that was the dirtiest with punish ever. Just to shimmy him, there is the back throw. It's gonna be the Kung Lao assist. Of course, he does have those. This man is dropping nothing. Arena boss cooking. Full string. There is a setup. Oh, the blocks! Uh, that is a punish all day long, Ava. Round two. Fight. But remember, Chad, these are the four remaining lives the challengers have. Oh, just walks up with the fourth four and just gonna hurt it. Kung Lao in the corner, and uh, Luke Kang in the corner. Immediately Breaker and Pyrrhix. I just look so desperate right now. Staggers, there's the Back throw. From. Of course, throw combos, we got those. Wait, is that enough? No, not yet. One touch reds. What for Pyrrhix? Oh, the perfect spacing. Ball roll, not gonna reach. Finish her. Down to three. And the boss, he looks so comfortable at this point. But let's be honest, Avil. Can, can we talk about the overall level the boss is playing at? So many different characters, so many different matchups, and he is able to adjust to everything in such a short time. Because, of course, he didn't know what challenger team is going to be picked here for this event. And right now, he is definitely looking very, very solid chat. Challengers down to three lives. Sutex is back at it. Tested Sub-Zero in the last showdown. Now we're going back to Shane. Sub-Zero worked some wonders, but in the end, it didn't work out in his favor. We see the Liu Kang again, really strong character, but I like the cameo decision from Sutex going with Sub-Zero. Bro, combo immediately. We are not 
playing around, ready to present. Hey, we, we might need a Kung Lao ban, because I see a lot of Kung Lao cameos from the undercover player. I mean, Kung Lao is kind of the cheap cameo, you know, you can pick up any character, just pick the Kung Lao cameo and you can do great things with it. But yeah, as you said, Rips, picked it with the Shao Kahn, with the Liu Kang, with the Melina. It's gonna be interesting. But now the Shang Tsung zoning. Surely the challenger doesn't have a Shang Tsung Rips. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Don't challenge him! Abel, if this dude is now gonna go Shang Tsung in the next match, then we know that this has to be an AI. Oh yeah, definitely. So Abel is actually challenging the undercover pro to go Shang Tsung in the next match. Let's see if he does it. If this dude has a Shang Tsung, Abel, I'm ending the stream. Then I'm done. What is this pickup? Shimit. Again, back to back as here's the throw all of a sudden. This is just such a good decision making in the playstyle. Montclair jacket on with the shoulder charge afterwards. Well nicely done from Sutix, but he needs way more than that. There's the throw again. There's Able. the Kung Lao rips. Sutix. He has the bars. Wait! He drops it! But maybe he didn't drop it, Rips. Maybe he saw Sudix having full bar and going for the throw kill. Who is this dude? Challengers down to two. And Avil officially challenged the undercover pro to go Shang Tsung in the next match. <laughs> no, Xutix Xu left the entire lobby chat. Xutix is like, you know what? We can't win this anymore. Xutix, he doesn't believe. Abel, <laughs> I'm done. No. I'm done. I'm leaving. No I'm leaving. Way. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> no Don't tell me he has a Shang Tsung. I swear to God, if, if this dude knows a Shang Tsung combo now, then I'm, I'm ending. He's playing versus Luchi as well, so if he wins with Shang Tsung versus Luchi, I'm done with my life. Luchi having the glow on though. Nice blocks. And, oh. Maybe he has the combos. <laughs> you know how hard those are? Maybe he has them. Oh, you can't be kidding. This guy has a Shang Tsung. I swear to God, Chad, this is not scripted. He really has a Shang. But Nuji with the big combo. There's a jump in. What a one. Good combo. Oh, what? Straight into Yang Shang. What's for breakfast? Just some sort of egos. No, don't beat Nuji with his own own character. Oh no. What will happen? Go straight to Shang Tsung. Nice projectile. Noji playing it so carefully, waiting for the right catch. That is beautiful. Oh, there it was. That is just great. Noji is playing so strong Round tonight. Two. Fight. Oh, that is good. Oh, the jump that. in too. And Melina hurt any touch. Melina goes for the 40 piece. Noji always goes to McDonald's and gets the 40 piece McNugget. <laughs> he doesn't even care about the burgers. Now Nuji feeling the pressure. Here comes Shang. God, you're confident just for the eight. What? Nice. Almost got the... What happened there? Oh, that is oh, cheeky from Nuji. That's such a disgusting no, that yeah. is cheeky. Finish him. DC begging. Oh. Nuji is keeping the challengers alive. The undercover pro down to seven chat. This is not over yet.
the first teabags in today's event. <laughs> oh man, what are we doing here, chat? Welcome to our Undercover Pro Special. I see more than 500 people in the crowd and Various is dropping five bands. I don't even have to ask what Various wants to do because I know that he is unbanning his own character, Raiden. Well, why would you unban Raiden when you're not even playing right now? What's the Undercover Bro go Raiden now? <laughs> <laughs> Various, what have you done? Very, you gotta be the biggest. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like this, but you gotta be a serious. <laughs> Why? He just gave Raiden to the undercover pro, even though he's not even playing yet. Oh man, just gave us. Oh no. Oh chat. Road start electric fly. I know that so sad he is mad right now. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna clap those Raiden cheeks ribs. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's finding the undercover boss right now. And Various as well. And Various is in Soulset's team. Icebreaker. Almost gets the confirm right there. Yeah, no way that Gears can punish that. One command grab away. Nice spamming from both. I mean, yeah, spamming. Both spamming. Oh. Round two. Fight. Oh, the low poke here is the overhead able. Man, Rips, imagine you're just a guy who joins his tea in a tea house and. Just like a thunder god shows up and a guy who throws with sand to just start brawling in the background. The one guy has a horse as his friend. <laughs> then you oh, ask the yourself how did the horse come into this tea house? We're playing neutral. There's a the teleport. Wait, what? Oh, I think because he side switch rips, he messed up his inputs. So that the he BBC is horse connection. Oh, Otaro with the assist in the background. Finish him. Chat. The undercover. Oh, and so that he is teabagging as well. Chat. Happening. Can we get some ales in the chat, everyone? Because all of a sudden, this is getting way too close. Let's go. So said coming in with the BBC horse connection, and it's working out. And that took a lot of lives from the uh, from the arena boss. Raven, Lena is back on the menu. You just said it like something you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, I want to point out that our challenger team got buffed super, super hard by the chat. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, the arena boss, he only got one single bonus yeah, life. And the challengers, they got five. And they're still down, Avis. Six lives for the boss, two lives for the challengers. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. Ha! You intend to teach me. Rip, should I war? should I maybe drop a little 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 hint about the arena boss? No. Who it might be? Fight. Just a tiny, like it would be baffle everybody. Let me tell you that shit. The arena boss still didn't play his main. <laughs> That's a good hint, right, Rips? It is a good one. So now make it, make, think of it of whatever you want. This skirmish is mine. Round two. Fight. Yeah. 
Maybe I get the. Uh, maybe I get. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, Riz, because I think the arena boss has a different main now. <laughs> or maybe I fucked up, chat. Maybe don't forget that. Oh, that is a big whiff punish. Sponsored by the Undercover Pro. Plus frames. Oh, the pressure. Never ending, Abel. When is oh. this in Raven Lina's turn? Evil, it is happening. The challengers are down to their last General life. Wins. That was quick, by the way. That was Raven Lina on his main, getting clapped by that Shao Kahn. Who is the next one? All eyes on the potential last player shadow mario <laughs> this man has to feel so much pressure right now the entire challenger team is watching him go into the next fight Sindel. wait <laughs> what Sindel. oh Sindel. we're seeing this one for the first time scorpion striker kung lao hanging gardens your pyromancy is you see how i arcane. how i rattled up There's the chat with the thing Forest that i said ribs <laughs> <laughs> everybody guessing Rain right now one. But what is in Scorpion skin? Wait a second, this looks like a custom skin. What did I miss? And the rest take my money. So interesting. So Shadow Mario, first time I've ever seen him play Rips. Interesting play style with the Liu Kang. I loved it, but I didn't know that he has a Scorpion as well. But the boss Avon, you... he is looking so solid. Six remaining lives and the challenger is down to the last one. Can you tell me a little bit about Shadow Mario Rips? Where he is from and Liu Kang Man. He's a really good player. And a region, very, very young player still. Super entertaining to watch. Big talent in my opinion. No, I mean, I see it definitely. First time I ever see his name, see him play, and he's doing good. Oh chat, it's Ooh. looking rough. The challengers, they are shaking. Round two, fight. Will the arena boss do it finally? This is the last life, by the way. This is the last chance. After this, it is done. And the arena boss had, uh, has the win, but don't count on Shadow Mario. Oh, I like that. Come on. Yep, catching the back dash. Come on, Rips. Put the air on a little on a, a easier difficulty now. Okay, chat spoiler, I I'm the boss. I'm playing for the entire time. Yeah, that's why we don't put on the cameras. <laughs> Ooh, the trade. Shadow Mario fighting for his life. Oh yeah, he's not only fighting for his life rips, he's fighting for his team! The hit, oh, he finds the hit, confirm on this one! That's the last breaker, potentially. That's what? it! Evil, that... What?! Oh, I had a little heart attack here. The undercover pro. He did it versus an entire team of challengers. One versus six. 10 lives versus 15 cool, lives. And Sitpo is saying the overall score Avel. 15 to 4. Sindel wins. That is impressive. Oh, that is. That is impressive. That is actually more than impressive.
And Avil and I, we hope that everyone watching this on YouTube, of course, enjoyed this special event. Let us know in the comments, who do you think the Undercover Pro is? Because we're going to reveal it in the next video. We give them a little bit of time, Avil. How many people do you think on YouTube are going to get it right? <laughs> okay, we are checking the comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching and hope that, yeah, everyone enjoyed it. I personally had a blast.